All praises is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, Master of the Day of Judgment, the Beneficent, the Especially Merciful, the Entirely Merciful. It is unto you whom I give all the glory because I'm not ashamed and in reverence in my medium voice. I give you the honor, give you the glory. I love you because you love me. And today, I want to talk about Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby is a picture of Al Matty. Look at the wrinkles in his forehead. Look at all the wrinkles in his forehead. I'm going to be short and sweet today because I love people. I have a heart big enough to love all of humanity. And I have a heart big enough to love more than one wife. Okay, and that's why I'm getting ready to walk into that. Bill Cosby has all of the wrinkles in his forehead because according to the Hades, the chief in Islam will be a black man with a raisin shaped head. Why does he have the jello in his hand like that in the thumbnail? Because I am the man prophesied in the Hadith. You know it, you can pull it. That will take apart the Kaaba. Stone by stone. Now, is there anybody else that can see? Is there anybody else that has glasses? And this is why he's smiling. He has the wrinkles in his forehead because he is the man prophesied of in the Hadiths with the raisin shaped head. And he has the box of jello holding it like that because I'm going to take apart the Kaaba one stone at a time. Now, is there anybody else out there that has an IQ? Please help me. Please don't tell me that I'm the only one that can see this. Now, Jello rhymes with Halo. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not a poet. I am. And why does Jello rhyme with Halo? Because I am the only man besides my son walking around on this earth with a real deal. Halo over my head like you see in them Jesus pictures. I really have one because I am the prophet of the hour. Okay. Look at Bill Cosby. Why did he have an issue with a little girl? And got in trouble. And was jailed and was released. Because Al Matty has to impregnate three virgins from Mexico. Now think about it. If God himself was to come to this earth in a body. You think he would be the tallest man? You think he would be the biggest man? You think he would be the most handsome man? No. He was already mighty. So why would he come to the earth and be mighty when he has to impregnate three young virgin girls? And this is why we paved the way for the prophet Muhammad in the Hades when he married a young girl by the name of Aisha. Why? Because we could do that. We could do it. There was, there was no restrictions on the age of marriage in the Torah. I do not recall. There was a boy by the, by the age of seven who took two wives. He was too young to pick them out. He had an overseer pick them out for him. In your Bible. You see, I'm not racist, but at the same time, I'm black. And I'm not ashamed to say the white man is not God. That doesn't mean you hate people. 
because you say the white man is not God and his laws is not Torah. According to the Torah, multiple wives were permitted and according to the Torah, there was no age on marriage. And you love the white man so much and you love Paul so much, that's why you agree with Paul. That's why you agree with one man having one wife. Because you love Paul so much. Okay? You agree with Paul's commandments in Corinthians. He wanted to be the real prophet of the Quran. He was the man found guilty for killing the prophet Isa on biblical record. He was the man found guilty of wanting to be the father. He wanted to be the father. And he was not. No, he was not. Al Maddy is the father and I am here. I'm here with truth. Now look at Bill Cosby. We went over Jello rhyming with Halo last. Look at that. That's me. And then look at look at him. He looked like family to me. If you look at him the way I raise my eyebrows, he looks like family. And then look at his name, Bill. There's a bill on the table. Long overdue. The nations is supposed to pay tax to me. The sons of the kingdom is not supposed to pay tax. The father has made himself a son. The nations are supposed to be paying taxes to me. I am Al Maddy. I am the ruler of this earth. Okay? Especially over the Arabs who have my Kaaba. And I will get it. And you will learn what it means. That Arabia will be green. Now I give Allah all of the praise. I give him all the glory. There's no deity worthy of worship. But Allah. And I stripped myself of my deity. But didn't put off my piety. And we need the daughters of today. We need the women of today to strip themselves of their deity and put on piety and put on piety. I'm going to bring back the value of a virgin. I'm going to bring back its worth. Al Maddy has to impregnate three virgins. That's why every relationship I was in, it was always another woman and another woman and another woman and another woman. I'm walking in my calling. Is it amazing to know that Allah wants to give you some? That's amazing. To know that your assignment from the beginning was to impregnate women, to bring about the 12 tribes of Israel, to bring Jacob back again. I am here. I am here. Why y'all keep ignoring me? Why y'all keep rejecting me? I have brought up children who have rebelled against me. I brought up children who rebelled against me. This is the story of my life. I brought up children who rebelled against me. Okay? But it's okay. I'm here in the flesh. And I am Allah's microphone. What a privilege. What an honor. What a big difference it is. To be Allah's microphone. Than for all the other prophets to be my microphone. That's a big difference. That is a huge. Vast. 
difference. And I am privileged to be the prophet of the hour. Yo, Quran say, believe in Allah in the last day. I am the last day. My last name is Clay. My last name is Day with a C. Close to a lowercase L-A-Y. I am here. I am the Muhammad Ali. I am the Cassius Clay. I am the stone. The build is rejected. You kiss me. On the stone. You point to me, but ignore me in reality because I woke up and I know who I am. I am Day Day. I am the original Moses. I am the original Muhammad. I am here. I am the original Joshua. And I am here. And I have many daughters, many daughters. This weekend was tremendous. I was in tears. When I look back over my life at key women who was a picture of the last witness and I wanted to make sure I appreciated that person because she wasn't just anybody to me. I gave her up for somebody. And she still was my friend. This is the role of Al Maddie's women. They know I get what I want. They know who I am. They know who I am. They recognize their place. And we need more women to strip off their deity. Want to be God women. Want to be merry women. And put on piety. Put on reverence. Tremble. In the presence of a prophet that's been here since the beginning. Al Matty, I'm here. And I ain't forgot about Bill Cosby. My brother Bill Cosby, look at him. And he loved black people. If you study Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby loved black people. Yes, he did. He did. Okay. And he educated black people. And the reason why he's catching hell is because he's a picture of me. People hate that man because people hate me. They hate that man because they hate me. When you see future and you hate him, you hate me. When you see George Floyd and you hate him, you hate me. When you see all these types and shadows and pictures of the Al Matty and you hate them, it's because you hate me. And that's the real truth. Bill Cosby is a picture of a black man with a raisin head, skinny, black with thin legs, taking the Kaaba apart, impregnating the 12 tribes of Israel, to be frank. According to Genesis 49, hello San Francisco. According to Isaiah 49, hello San Francisco. Verse 6, I'm supposed to restart the 12 tribes of Israel and be a light to all the nations. It was my voice in your prophet's last speech. There's no messenger after me. And no, no Arab ever had a legacy and never had a successor. Only Israel had successors. And my son, Jeremiah Dishon Princeton Clay, that I named in 2013, will minister before the anointed after me. We have successors. Why? Because it's our book. We have successors. Why? Because it's our Kaaba. Abraham, Abraham rather, was a Muslim wine because he was be here. He was here before your prophet, and I love him. I love the prophet Muhammad. I just recognize his position as a servant. He never saw my face. I spoke to him through Gabriel, through a veil. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Abraham was a Muslim before 
the Prophet Muhammad because Islam came from black people. And in the Quran, I made it simple and plain that if you claim to be a Jew, thinking you better than everybody else, then wish for death. So we allow all races in Islam. But now that the stone that you was praying to is here, and I'm trying to get my Kaaba, I'm trying to take my place as the ruler of the Arabs, and y'all giving me issues on it. So now race has to be magnified. That's why I have to take you to Song of Solomon, chapter 1, 5 and 6. I am black but calmly, O you daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Qadar, as the curtains of Solomon. Look not upon me because I'm black, because the sun have looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. Who is my mother's children? The Arabs. They mad at me. Why? Because Mohammed is not the real Mohammed. They mad at me that the real Mohammed is black. They mad at me that I'm their ruler. This is in Song of Solomon chapter 1, 5, and 6. Five and six. And then the Muslims can't say, oh, 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 the Quran is the truth, and you know the Bible has been corrupted, and you know, no, 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 no. Your prophet's name is mentioned in chapter 5, verse 16. Along with his skin color, along with the shape of his nose like Lebanon, along with the shape of his eyes, his name is mentioned in the Hebrew. It was translated into lovely because a white man got afraid of Muhammad. He said, oh, oh, oh we got to translate that. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. No, no. Johnny gets one wife. Okay. I'm not doing all that washing. No, no, no. no. Yeah, his name was translated into lovely from Muhammad Dem with a plural respect. So you can't deny the book of Song of Solomon. I'm the prophet that your prophet lived poor for. I'm the real Solomon. I'm the real solo man, the last man. Allah has no sons. But I'm his son. I'm his S-U-N that's going to shine. I'm his son that's going to shine. And this is the torment of saying Allah has a son. All you're going to hear is me, 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 me. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. It was okay for my son to do it. What's wrong with his daddy saying, I am, I am, I am, I am al Madi. So as you can see from this thumbnail, I wanted to go in detail and I wanted to pick up and go into on the pictures of the last witness. But I just wanted to show you how much is in Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby is a man most hated because he's a picture of Al Matty. He's a picture of the real Bilal. No, you don't know who Bilal is. You're a Christian. You will want to be Israelite. Not knowing that the new Israelites is coming from my sack. You can go by that name. That name is cool. It's all good. But the real Bilal... Is in the Hadiths. This man was rejected. He was tormented for following the religion of Islam. And he was the first person to wake the people up for prayer. And he stood on top of the Kaaba. His name is Bilal Abin Raba. And Arab is in his last name because he's the ruler of them. Abba is in his last name because he's the father. Bar in his last name because he's the judge and because he can decode the Bible. All these things are true of Bilal. And it should not shock you that there was a black man who woke up the Arabs while they was on the floor. Why was they on the floor? Because the floor, that dirty floor, is going into 34. I'm the man that predicts the end, 2034, September 16th. 
Okay? And they on the floor because according to the Hadiths, Allah will resurrect the world through a stone and he will judge the world through a stone. And that's why Bilal was on top of the Kaaba. He was a picture of the end. He was a picture of how Islam began even before Abraham. I am before Abraham. My son told you. Okay, and then according to the Hades, we have a skinny black man with thin legs taking the Kaaba apart and I have pictures of my legs on my YouTube and I have some real skinny legs. Not the skinniest, but they skinny. And then according to the Hades, your chief is a black man with a little head. That's all that's saying. Raisin head is a little head. Then you can't deny raisin because raisin is going into raising up the 12 tribes of Israel. I got three scoops of Mexico to go into. Okay. And then raisin is going into, according to the Hadiths, Allah will resurrect the stone first with two eyes. Why? Because I'm not alone. That's going into the last witness. And a tongue because I will judge the world. Allah is going to use me to judge the world as seen on my 2012 album cover, Grace Verse Law. When Allah saved only me because he told me only me mattered. He told me y'all was my guest. And if I wanted, y'all have nothing but the treatment of a servant. And he said, I love them. And I said, well, then who loved them? He said, you. Before I, before I could even think, he said, you love them. I love you. This is your world. This is your guest. I'm Lord of the worlds. Be judge of the planet. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth.